Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, I'm here in the backyard, a bunch of taro root growing or yucca, and you see a little bit more of our, our garden. Uh, we'll talk about four wonderful juices that I highly enjoy and I recommend for you. I'll start out with this one, nice and red, good old beet juice. Now, red beet juice, and really good for you. If you have ED, you want to drink this because it opens up the blood vessels and allows more you know, blood to flow just about anywhere in your lungs and your, you know, every part of your body. Yeah, and also, if you have cardiovascular problems, you want to eat that, drink this, or eat it, the beet itself also, which is good, and a lot of fiber there. And drinking beet juice is really good for you. Also, uh, opens up, brings in a lot of nitric oxide to open up your vessels, and gives you a lot of energy, and uh, I highly recommend it, especially if you're an athlete, and you want to stay healthy, and active, and you want to keep going. I'm exercising all the time. You know, I do eight miles of walking and work out with weights. Uh, just got a brand new rowing machine and I did a thousand meters yesterday. So, a lot of great things. Another thing I like is green juice. This is probably the most important juice anybody could drink. If you have acid reflux or you had problems with your GI tract in general, if you have aches and pains, if you just don't feel great in general, and maybe you have SIBO, this is one of the things that you should be drinking on a regular basis. I drink it every single day, and I recommend a green juice with spinach and chard and uh, all kinds of different things. You know, collard greens, you can get it with you can make your own. That's the most important. Get live juices. You know, when you get something dried in a powder form, you lose all the live ingredients. So it's really important that you drink something live. And this is really good for the GI tract. And all disease starts in the gut, as uh, Hippocrates said. And I think this is really important. Put some uh, green apple, red apple in there. A little bit of carrots in there also, cucumber, you know, any kind of green that you'd like and mix it up. A little stevia, really great stuff. It'll keep you feeling really healthy. Another one I like to talk about for all you sweet fans also. <laughs> yeah, this is Parcha or passion flower. And if you have high blood pressure uh, in general, this is a great one to drink. It will lower down your blood pressure. Also, buy the fruit itself. You know, and get the fruit and the little you know, kind of berries or what do you call those? I wouldn't know what to call the fruit itself. Uh, and open it up. It has a gel-like material inside. You know, in some places in the, in the world, they actually take that gel and put it over the top of desserts. Really great. And I just spin it through the blender a little bit to kind of break it up a little bit and then keep the seeds in there also. They're kind of crunchy and they're actually tasty too. So a parcha or passion flower is a wonderful drink. Also helps with stress and helps with anxiety. Uh, it helps you to sleep at night and wonderful, wonderful drink that you can drink on a regular basis. Another one I really like is I talked about the other day is tamarind juice, and uh, this is a wonderful drink also. Nice and sweet, kind of sweet, sourish kind of flavor. Great for inflammation. Also, the green juices are great for inflammation also. So if you have inflammation go on, going on, it's really good that you uh, drink some green juice. Also, this tamarind will also help with your cholesterol, also help to, with your liver. And, and the nice thing about the green juice also is healing for the liver also. And people with fatty liver disease, this is really great. So a, a few ways that you can heal a body. If you can either put them through a juicer or you can blend them. You know, if your diet is kind of lacking in fiber, I recommend you blend. Uh, if you get a lot of fiber and you eat as many beans as I do, I eat from 12 to 24 ounces every day. Uh, then you can use it, not a problem. 
but you want a lot of fiber. Fiber is important. I mean, and we're seeing so much more uh, studies that show that fiber is absolutely great. So there's a, we have wonderful juices that you can drink. If you want to sweeten them up a little bit, like I said, add a little stevia, add a little honey, uh, organic, of course, um, all those things. And all these juices should be organic. I was just talking to a man. You know, the average potato has 32 chemicals in it. 32 chemicals if it's not organic. The average parsley, over 40 chemicals. Really not good. We really need to allow ourselves to move back to something as basic. You know, back way back in the 30s, 40s, and even in the beginnings of the 50s, we didn't use chemicals. We used manure for fertilizer, and we relied on good old Mother Nature to make things grow. And we don't use any type of, uh, you know, fertilizer back here either. Uh, we actually use manure, cow manure, horse manure, different things, rabbit manure, and different types of ones. Also, we do a lot of uh, breaking down of plant material and putting that on the uh, yard also. And also, I actually soak weeds and uh, dried plant material in water and uh, start what's called OM1 and start growing good bacteria, which are spread across the yard. So it's a really great way. We gotta go back to nature. We gotta get back into uh, loving nature. And, 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 and as a secondary thing, we love ourselves because of that, because we have great health. So allow yourself to, you know, go back to nature. Now, I was just reading about a man who is in Europe and he got his degree, ended up getting married, having kids, and he worked in a particular area of uh, computing, and he decided, no, I don't want to do this. I'm going back to nature. And so he ended up going out into nature, buying a few acres, and they live off the land. And a lot more people are doing that nowadays. And I think that's really important. If we don't know how to live off the land and we only know where to get our fruits and vegetables from in the supermarket, how are we going to survive if something happens? Absolutely, positively, it's not going to happen. We need to know the basics of how things work. So allow yourself to partake of some wonderful juices. Green, green juices, which are great uh, for inflammation, also for gastric uh, problems, uh, also for the immune system. You know, beet juice, which is really great for opening up the vessels, getting more nitric oxide going on, increasing your athletic performance. Uh, good old passion flower, which is really great for, you know, sleep, anxiety, stress, uh, also lowering blood pressure and on and on. Uh, also, tamarind juice, which is really great for inflammation and uh, really helping to heal the liver and you know, many different processes. So allow yourself to partake of some of these wonderful juices. And like I said, either blend or juice, whatever way, depending on how much fiber you're getting in your diet. So have a wonderful day. And if you want to get a hold of me, my email address is drpaulhater at gmail.com at drpaulhater at gmail.com. You can click show more and it's right down below. And also my... Uh, Phone number is 831-869-9119, 831-869-9119. And my Skype address is Dr. Paul Hatery, and you can text me and WhatsApp me with my phone number, and everything is going to work out great. Remember, remember God, if you want to uh, uh, get a hold of me and ask a quick question, feel free. I'm here for you. If you want to do a consult with me and become really extremely healthy and uh, feeling great like me. I'm going on 67 and I feel wonderful. And I'm going about to go in and do some more exercise. So have a great day. And remember, I love you.